After discovering this recipe, I only make pasta like this. I'll fill a pot with water halfway through. Then add olive oil and 250 grams of pasta. Let's let him cook. Now in a pan, I will put a little olive oil. It does not need to be much. Let's add 500 grams of meat. And with the help of a spatula stir to fry evenly on both sides. I'll add a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of paprika and a tablespoon of garlic. I will mix all the ingredients very well. And before I forget, tell me which city you watch so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Teresa Sagnet. I'm glad you're enjoying our recipes. Now in a container, I will add a cup of water, three tablespoons of soy sauce, and also a tablespoon of cornstarch. Then in another pan, I'll put some olive oil. Add a chopped onion. One chopped tomato, please half a green bell pepper, half a yellow bell pepper, and also a chopped carrot. Let's mix it up nicely. I will transfer the meat we prepared earlier to the pan along with the vegetables. And then add the soy sauce mixture on top of everything. Let's cover the pan and cook for 15 minutes. I have no doubt that you will be surprised by the final result of this recipe. Finally, I will add the pasta we cooked previously over everything and mix well. You will never want to eat pasta any other way after you learn to do so. And our recipe was already ready, look what delight was. When I do it in my house there is never anything left, because it is really very difficult to eat just a little. Even your friends will ask you to teach them how to do it so well that it stays. Personally, I do it myself often in my house so delicious it gets. Now I'm going to add a bit of chives to taste on top of everything to give a special touch, but this part is to taste. I doubt you've ever made a pasta recipe like this before. It is much tastier than those pastas sold in conventional restaurants. And all this using only a few ingredients present in everyday life of any person has no reason not to try. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I'll see you in the next video, bye.